How's it going real estate goers? We gotta talk about real estate because right now, nobody's buying. Interest rates are super high and you gotta be kinda crazy to be buying a home right now and just putting down like 15 to 20% cash. I mean, if you wanna buy a house right, you better be putting like close to 50% down because the majority of the mortgage you're paying in the first few years are gonna be heavily interest. It won't even be the principal. Like seriously, like I've seen people refinance their homes right now and it's like a quarter million dollars. That's it. And they're paying like $1,000 every single month, paying just the interest. It's crazy, okay? You gotta be kind of insane right now to be buying a bunch of these, you know, massive condos and a bunch of these, you know, massive properties and stuff like that. It's really, really draining on your bank account. So if you check out right now, it's mostly due to interest rates. Interest rates are super high right now. They're actually causing even very good places like Orlando, to experience a massive price drop. And Orlando has some of the finest real estate pieces, and a lot of these real estate areas aren't even that expensive. I mean, two bed, two bath, with views a whole city, and a very, very nice skyscraper, almost 1,200 square feet, which is massive for a condo, a little under half a million dollars. You don't get that that often, okay? If you, half a million dollars, if you take that to San Francisco, it'll probably buy you a parking spot. Manhattan, don't even think about it. You're living on the streets. So this is why a lot of Florida areas are booming in price. But the boom seems to be slowing down with a lot of luxury listings not selling simply because of very high interest rates. 30-year mortgage right now, it's like 7 8%. Somewhere like that, it's insanely high. And I've heard a lot of people saying that they will not take out a 30-year mortgage for a house if it's you know, above 5%. It's crazy. So if you look at what BlackRock is saying, these guys are probably the biggest investors out there. And BlackRock is saying that we could be seeing two more interest rate hikes for this year. And this is by their CEO, Larry Fink. So what Larry Fink is saying is the inflation numbers are super high. And the Federal Reserve, they don't really care about your home price, guys. They don't care about unemployment. They don't care about any of that stuff right now. Right now, they want to care about inflation. And they want to make that bag of chips go down as much as possible. And they want to get inflation down to 2% by the end of the year, which is really unrealistic. I think it's going to be about 3.1 or 3.5. So it's going to happen sometime next year's summer. And don't be expecting a rate cut this year, despite what some people are telling you. In fact, start expecting a massive rate hike in June and possibly a second one in September. And BlackRock is warning investors that making, a, you know, by betting on the Fed's cut rates is a massive mistake. We're actually seeing a lot of traders doing this. And BlackRock is straight up saying inflation is super high. And I fully believe it because the most recent CPI and PC numbers that came out a few weeks ago actually show a lot of household goods being very expensive. And even some real estate places and rents in some parts of the country actually going up. And this is what's fueling this massive rise in inflation. Remember CPI? We finally dropped to 5.0. And in fact, we should have just kept dropping by like 0.8% every single month. But for once, CPI actually, just, it was stagnant. 5.0 to 4.9, that basically means inflation didn't go down and it's stagnating. Stagnating inflation is by far the scariest thing the Fed could ever experience because inflation just hovers at a very high point and it damages. So they're going to be holding rates and possibly hike up rates even more. The Fed is starting to see inflation isn't going down and this looks bad for all of the Federal Reserve guys and it's going to hurt the U.S. economy in the long term. So they're going to have to try their very best to get inflation down. Not to mention the stock market recently is doing extremely well, a little too well. The NASDAQ is going up so much from the AI pump that a lot of people suddenly have money right now. And a lot of these guys are buying homes, buying cars, buying iPhones. It, it's like a whole entire thing. Bank stocks aren't doing well. S&P 500 is kind of flat. But the hundreds of thousands of people right now playing tech, they actually have a lot more spare money than before. And these guys will be using a lot of that money to be buying a lot of real estate areas. Now, Orlando is a fantastic place. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you look at the beaches, a lot of beach property as well. Great condos for sale. I mean, some of these units you can't find anywhere else. It's really, really nice. Orange roofs, you know, sea breeze. 
and they're on the market for a very long time. Now go a little further down to like West Palm Beach, for example, a lot of these units aren't selling at all. They're on the market for a very long time. Same thing with Miami. Go to Miami. You know, we keep saying Miami real estate sells really fast, but recently it's been slowing down with some of the luxury listings, just properties over three, four million dollars, experiencing a 50% decline in sales. That's crazy. And that really means that even wealthy individuals don't want to buy right now. They want to buy when rates are lower. So the feds are just doing this just to slow down inflation. And it is working, but I think they may have to hike it up a few more times just to get the point across and get everything cooling once again because things are heating back up. And if you look at this, you know it's going to be affecting the office buildings. Office buildings are taking a massive beating right now from the interest rates. And office buildings are heavily backed by small regional banks. And one of the reasons why a bunch of small regional banks this year failed is because of high interest rates. And these high interest rates are causing massive panic in the market. And if they just hold rates for another 12 months, it's gonna kill off probably five to six more regional banks and definitely commercial real estate will be in the gutter. It's already in the gutter, all right? Because you also have massive skyscrapers in San Francisco selling for 50 to 75% off. And look at this, One Liberty Plaza, Okay, 2017 valued at 1.5 billion. Now it's valued at $1 billion. That's crazy. That's like a 33% decline in Manhattan. And Manhattan is a place where real estate should not be going down because of the massive international demand. It's Wall Street. It's the financial capital of the world. Prices go down a little bit. A bunch of people start snagging. Chinese buyers go in. Saudi buyers go in. You know, UAE buyers going. It, it, it's, it is a massive buying spree the moment New York City real estate goes down. And you already have massive buildings in the commercial sector going down 33%, even in Manhattan. So this is why we could be seeing a massive burst just by the Fed's holding rates, not even adding in the possibility of two more rate hikes. And adding in two more rate hikes, kiss the real estate industry goodbye. And for example, this condo that you really like, you know, 1,100 square feet, luxury, you know, bay views for $920,000. Yeah, it's not going to be worth $920,000 anymore. It'll probably be worth $800,000, despite how hot the market is in Miami. Now, look at this condo. It's very, very nice. $689,000, two bed, three bath, 1,300 square feet. I mean, this is actually pretty massive in terms of a condo. What if I told you that if they hike up rates two more times, it'll be worth a little over $600,000, maybe even $580,000. It's highly possible, guys, with HOA going up, home insurance going up, property taxes going up. I mean, owning these properties isn't just about buying it for the sale price. It's also about if you even have money to maintain it. So get ready. We could be seeing another pop maybe a third, fourth crash in the real estate market this year. And by the way, some areas in the U.S. are going up, but not every single area. And before guys leave, definitely check out the private Discord server, guys. Patreon link below for some amazing trades. One of our traders here just updated their trades for May, and you do see all the green are winning trades, the red are losing trades, and the whites are going to be trades that broke even. Look at all this juicy green. And we trade live on a daily basis every single day guys it's a patreon link below in the description click on it it's ten dollars a month then connect patreon with discord we even have a video on patreon to help you it's super easy it takes you like 15 20 seconds check us out and really enjoy some of these trades even i use a lot of these signals to make money we have several traders on here not just one guy see you later